Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to continue with intermediate algorithm scripting and we're going to solve Pig Latin. Okay, let's get started right away. Uh, Pig Latin is a way of altering English words and the rules are as follows. If a word begins with a consonant, take the first consonant or consonant cluster. So we have to take all the consonants in the beginning if there are only consonants. And we need to move it to the end of the word and add a y a to it. But if a word begins with a vowel, just add way at the end. And we just need to translate the provided string to Pig Latin. Okay. So what we need to do in this case is we need to start iterating through the string and then check if it is a vowel or not. Okay, so let's get started writing this. First, we need to... I, I will create a string with all the vowels so that I have them, uh, so I can use them right here to perform a check. So let's declare the vowels. I'm going to make it an array with a, I should remember all the vowels, A, uh, E, I, O, U, hmm. let me check if I have all the vowels correct. Okay, yeah, there are only five vowels in the English alphabet. So these are the vowels. Now I want to create um, an I want to create a string where I want to to keep the cluster of consonants. Okay, it might be one or more or zero if there are no consonants. So this is the cluster of consonants at the end of consecutive consonants at the start of the word. So I'm going to call this cluster and I'm going to initialize it as an empty string. Okay. Now we want to go through uh, the string to check if it's a consonant or a vowel. So we need to iterate through it. I'm going to use a for loop going to create like always i equal to zero i smaller than str dot length and then i plus plus okay so what we want now i'm going to make this larger so uh, let's check first if it's uh, a vowel so i want to check the character at index i if it is a vowel so if and how can i do that so i want to check if uh, str i if this one is uh, is equal to any of the vowels right here the best way uh, and the shortest way i think we can do it using uh, sum uh, we learned about sum in a previous lesson so it you can write something like this. I'm going to take vowels. Let's make a space here. Vowels dot sum. And inside you can write a function. And then uh, that function. So we, we are iterating through the vowels. And we can apply a function to it. And we want at least at, we want any of these to fulfill um, to fulfill the statement in that function. Okay, so we want, if any of this is equal to STRI, then for us, that sh this one should return true. Okay, so uh, let's write function here. I'm just going to call the element V for vowel. And then what I want to check is that if V is equal, equal to STRI. Okay. Now, this one should return true only if the first let, if uh, STRI is a vowel. Okay. 
And if it is a vowel, we just want to break in this case. We want to break the loop. We don't want to continue no more. But if it is not a vowel, we just want to, uh, so it means it is, it is a consonant and we want to add that consonant to the cluster. Okay, so cluster, I'm going to add str i. So what this means is that when this, um, so let's, let's go through a scen uh, scenario. So in this case, if we have consonant, we iterate through consonant, the first let uh, str0 is c, then c is not, uh, so this one is not fulfilled, it returns false, we go to this one, and cluster now becomes c. Let's just, first let's, let's try this now. What do we have? Console.log, and I'm going to print the cluster. Okay, so we have only C, that's what we want in this case, because when we go to O, it is a vowel and we just break. Okay, so we have the cluster of consonants. Now, um, we want to cover the case, so what happens if the first, um, if the first letter is a vowel, of course it will break immediately, and if the first letter is a vowel, the cluster will be still an empty string. Okay, so now we can write an if condition. After we have finished running the loop, if cluster is equal to an empty string, let's remove this. If cluster is equal to an empty string, then we want to just return what is the rule for if it begins with a vowel, we just add way at the end. So we just want to return str plus way. Okay, now if the cluster is not empty, then we just want to take that cluster, let's remove this, we just want to take that cluster, add it at the end, so it's cluster, and we also want to add way. Okay, Let's see what this prints. Okay. Oh, so we, we also want to remove the cluster. Yep. And to do that, it's pretty easy using the slice function. So slice, I want to cut from, if I have the cluster with, uh, one element and I want to start from one so from so we can start from the length of the cluster and I'm just going to leave the parameter I'm not going to give another parameter because that means we can take the string from the cluster length at the end so from one till the end and this one gives us what what we are asking for in this case yeah I think this one should work let's uh, Let's run the tests. Hmm. We have something here. Let's see what happens for California. Yeah. Ah, okay. I, I want to add A if it is a consonant. Yep. I think that one was the issue. Oh, perfect. So um, I think that's it for this video. In the next one, we will continue with search and replace. Okay, guys, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.